Welcome to the video tutorial on how to use the social networking and bookmarking site and Web 2.0 tool Delicious.com. First, take your web browser and direct it to Delicious.com. This is www.delicious.com. You'll be directed to a nice blue and white site coming up right now. Okay, so here we are at Delicious.com advertises the tastiest tastiest bookmarks on the web. You can store all of your bookmarks in one place here um, through this website. So all of the bookmarks that you use regularly when you're designing lesson plans, when you're looking through your New York State standards, you can store them all here and you can share them with other people. So let's take a look at some of the features right here on the main page. They've got a flash video advertising um, what delicious.com is all about with a learn more section as well. I've already gone through that so I won't bore you with it. Um, advertises it's free. Join now and sign in, which are helpful tools for once you have signed up with Delicious.com. Scrolling down, we see Search Delicious, so we'll talk about how you can search for this in just a few minutes. And the main page consists of the 10 most popular bookmarks on Delicious.com right now. For example, uh, the number one at the moment is Google. Google Maps car hits a deer, records entire ordeal on Google Maps. So this is um, an interesting example of how people can use their bookmarks. A lot of people like to save some of their funny videos, um, and Google Maps is a pretty interesting 2.0 tool, which you can view in another video by another group member of mine um, later on. And so what this is, is if I click the link right here, um, this would direct me to the site where you can view Google Maps car hitting a deer, which is a little bit sad, so we're not going to do that. Going down one, we've got Pinky Dinky Do. Now, I know that I'm interested in this. Well, the name sounds goofy. I know that I'm interested in this by looking at the tags found here on the right. What the tags are is it kind of describes what the websites consist of. So, this one says games, elementary, reading, interactive, and podcasts. As a teacher, I'm very interested in this website, so I could explore Pinky Dinky Do based on the tags that are of interest to me. And over here we have some blue numbers, and this is just saying how many people have stored Pinky Dinky Do on their website. So 113 people have bookmarked Pinky Dinky Do on their own bookmarking site. Um, other features we have on the main page here is new bookmarks saved in the last minute. 224 were saved in just the last minute. Um, I can pretty much vote for, vouch for the act, activity of this site because this is my fifth or sixth recording of this video, and a few minutes ago, Pinky Dinky Do was the most popular video. Um, over here we have popular tags. Again, remember the tags are what describe the website that you are putting in as a bookmark. So popular tags, we have design, blog, video, uh, Google, inspiration, photography, blogs, education. Education's of interest to us, so if I wanted to try to add some education sites to my own bookmark list, I would go ahead and I would click it. And we'll look through here and we have, again, about the, the top 10 most popular education-related bookmarks. comes with Academic Earth, Academic Earth uh, Discovery Education, um, 200 free online classes to learn anything, which is pretty interesting to me. I'll have to check that out later. Teacher Resources, um, World War II sim in the simple version. Um, thanks for the ad. Now help me with my homework is another one. So, and what, these are all described here. For example, Ideas Worth Spreading has 27,502 people have bookmarked this site. So judging by the tags, which are art, um, innovation, web 2.0, and education, I know that I'm probably pretty interested in this site, and a lot of other people are as well. So it might be worth checking out. And if I were to click it, I would be directed to www.ted.com, which is the Ideas Worth Spreading site. So going back, um, this is the, the popular education bookmarks. Now we are on a new, new site where we, or a new aspect of the site where we see some new things on our screen. We've got home, bookmarks, people, and tags. If I was to click on bookmarks, we have the option of jumping to a random bookmark. These are just all sorts of random but popular bookmarks that have, you know, a hundred plus people that have been visiting them regularly. 
we jump to people, you can search other people's bookmarks. If you know someone is a delicious.com user, then you can go ahead and see what bookmarks they have. And tags. If you want to type in a tag, for example, I'm interested in things about, let's say, cameras. So I'm going to type in cameras, press enter, and now I have the top 10 camera-related bookmarks on delicious.com. Um, all sorts of things from specific cameras, cameras to types of camera bags to buy, um, tips for buying a camera. It's pretty interesting. Um, going back to, oh, and also, once you have searched uh, through, you know, say a specific tag, it's nice because they come up with a list of related tags on the right-hand side. So I could also look up and photography and lenses. So if you've ever done anything online and you know the plus symbol, um, it indicates and. I could be looking up photography and something else by clicking one of these related tags. So going back to home, um, it's very easy to join. You come up here to the green square, click join now. Um, fill in your first name, last name, email address, just like anything else. Um, filling out your username, password. You can Step two is adding buttons, and three is importing your existing bookmarks. As long as you have them saved into your bookmark, you can upload right from Mozilla, Firefox, or Internet Explorer. Very, very easy site to use. Wonderful for teachers because we spend so much time at home uh, looking through things that we want to use in the classroom and wanting to be able to share them with others. I know I've used this, this uh, site many times, just sharing ideas between different classrooms, having other people take a look at um, different websites and seeing is it, is it appropriate for school, can we bring this into the classroom, um, just simultaneously viewing a site together because I've shared my bookmarks with them and I can say, oh yeah, go look under this tag, pull up this one and tell me what you think about this site and can we use it. So that's a quick tutorial on Delicious, the social bookmarking site. I recommend checking it out. It's at uh, www.delicious.com, D-E-L-I-C-I-O-U-S. Thank you.